Hello, Mr. Moore. Hi, Mr. Jordan. Can I'm see you. To, you know, lovely to see you too. And I'm looking forward to another game of chess. We're gonna we're gonna step it up a little bit here and, and, and make it look like a proper game, right? That sounds great. Yeah. Let's get that sorted out. And then let's get the board up. For the children as well, assuming you've got parents' permission, the website we're using is quite good. You can play against the computer, which is probably best. But if you do, are you lucky enough to have two computers in the house? You can uh, invite your brother or sister or mum or dad to play with you on this. So it's quite good and it's totally free. Yeah, that's chess.org, isn't it? Chess.org, yeah. We, I think we found chess.org's a bit better than chess.com. So. Right, okay. A bit easier to use. Okay. So we've got the board. I'm black, so I go first, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're doing this deliberately, Mr. Jordan. I might be. I might be. Come on, then. Let's go. My, my move then. So we're playing well this time. Yeah, well, we're going to play. We're going to we're going to talk it through. Okay. Right. This time, well, I'm going to move this pawn. I think we talked about this in a previous game. I'm moving it two squares forward. I'm getting it near the middle. Yeah. That means my bishop can move out now. My and queen. I'm going to meet it. Meet the challenge. Yeah, good. And then I'm going to move the knight here. We talked about this. That gets that into play. It's attacking your pawn. Yeah, and puts it in a defensive position. So I'm probably going to do something uh, a little bit similar, although I might go a little bit different and, and pop my knight here. Yeah, that's fine. So, so I'm that's defending fine. my pawn rather than attacking your pawn. <laughs> Yep, that's good. Um, right, I'm going to bring this bishop into play. It can get to more squares now. It can get yeah. along here. Very nice. I, like that. I might do the same thing, actually, sir, and I might bring my bishop into play as well. Now, I don't want to just keep matching your it's okay. moves. It's okay. I'll do, do my do own it. thing at some point, although I think that's probably what I'm going to do for now. An unusual mm -hmm. choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. I quite like that, that you're kind of on the line of my king. Yeah, that's now, the aim. We are going to do a move now that we haven't taught. I'm going to do a move. We haven't taught the children, Mr. Jordan. So tell me if I explain this well enough. This is a, quite a strange move. It's called castling. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, it involves the king and one of the rooks. You can either castle on this side or on this side, but there's oh, you can only do it at certain times. I can do it now because there's nothing in the way between the king and the rook. Yeah. And you are not attacking my king or my rook or or the squares in between. Yeah. And what I do, it's a, it's a strange, it's a one-off move, this. I move that one... Um, two squares to the right. It's the only time the king can move two squares. Oh, it did it for me. The computer did it for me. So I move that two squares there and the rook jumps over it. Now, that's a great move, I think, because yeah. you were attacking my king, sort of. My king's now sort of safely tucked away in the corner. Remember, we had to defend the king, didn't we? Yeah. Plus, my rook, which was kind of stuck in the corner like the others are, has suddenly starting to get ready to be in play so that's called castling i quite like that and i'd also say um it might be worth us doing a little short video just on on that mm -hmm. because that is an important move that we haven't looked at isn't it it's a bit special. right you've done that i'm going to get actually one of my uh, knights out as well i think at this point which leads me to the option of castling if i need to i like that as well because you are attacking that pawn yep um, I'm just thinking what to do now. I'm quite glad my king's not there because one thing I could do is move that pawn forward to defend that pawn. And if I did that, I could do it now. Um, not sure what to do. I think... You're, you're attacking that pawn, which is worth one. I think I'm going to attack your bishop because it's worth more than one. Yeah, that's a very good move. It puts my bishop into a, a situation now, doesn't it? Because 
if I take it, it'll get taken. I could even take the other pawn under the queen, but again, it's going to get taken. So it's kind of a situation where I'm going to need to retreat a little bit, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Um, and I can't really go forward, so I guess I'm going to retreat backwards into um, to this position here. Okay. <clears throat> Good move. Again, I like the way you've, you're in line with this king again. You're still attacking that pawn. Um, I better move quickly so the children aren't waiting too long. I'm going to make him a sub as I go along. I'm going to keep chasing your bishop. That is a nice plan, sir. Because a bit of me was thinking about moving in and taking your pawn, but I, I realised that the bishop is more valuable, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Bishops were three as a guide. Yeah, and it's kind of put that bishop into a bit of an awkward situation because he could move, but he would end up being taken by uh, the horse, the, the, the knight. Mm, it's a good move, sir. So I either decide to retreat or I decide to do something dangerous, don't I? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we need to keep the game moving. And I'm going to be daring. Yeah. I'm going to knowingly do something here, which could be silly, sir. If that's okay with you. Yeah. It's one of my first potential silly moves where I'm going to leave something to be threatened uh, with the plan of moving something else out. So my plan is to move the queen to here. Whoa. Yeah. A left of centre kind of decision. Right. Well, I'm not going to think, I'm not going to think too long about this. That could be great. I'm going to just... Be simple and think, if I take your bishop with my pawn, I get three. Yeah. So um, obviously... Only lose one. I've lost three, and you, you are, you're expecting, aren't you, to lose one here anyway? That was a calculation that you made for yourself. Um, yeah, I don't mind losing one, I don't think. So you're still up on that. But you've got you're getting your pieces out and your queen's coming out, which can always be dangerous. So. Yeah. So I made it. I sort of thought I'm going to sacrifice a piece with the intention of moving my queen out. That was, as you've noticed, that was my plan. Now whether it pays off or not, sir, that's quite another question. <laughs> but sometimes chess is about taking risks, uh, isn't it? A little yeah. bit. Yeah. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to think too fast about this. You're still attacking this pawn, and now you're also attacking this bishop with your queen. So I've got to save two in one go. I could either do it by moving this pawn forward, because that saves them both. Oh, no, it doesn't. I do that, and you take that pawn, I take that, and then you take the bishop. So that's not going to work. So the only way I can save them both, I think. Now I can move my queen out, actually. I can move my queen there, or I can move my bishop there. Whoa. I want to play a bit safely because I'm on those two pieces up. I don't want to do anything too risky myself. Whoa. I think... I think moving my... Queen out saves both of them. Hope so. Here we go. Yeah, I think that was definitely the best move. So I was kind of hoping that you would rashly not do that. So you're protecting your bishop now and you're protecting your pawn. Uh, yeah. So what do I want to do in a situation like this, hey? Hmm. I think... As is my style often with this game, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be risky again. 
Although I might regret such a, <laughs> such a move. Maybe it's time to be a bit more. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to move. Okay, I think I've made a decision. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. No, no rush. But I'm going to move. Giving you, could be dangerous because it gives you time to get that queen a bit more into play, doesn't it? No, well, line just yeah, no move line. one pawn. No, that was, that put was him cool. into to both defend some pieces and also open up some pieces. Okay. Right, I'm not going to think too long. I'm going to put what it does here is op opens up this bishop to come out. Yeah. Don't really want it to go there. Um, because you'll be blocking the knight and all sorts. So I think I'm going to do that. Just oh, to that's... try and stop okay. you doing that. I see what you've done there. Frustrating. So, I might also move. I'm going to do this. Ooh. Oh yeah, I like the look of that because you've got yeah, because you've got two two pieces attacking that bishop now, the queen and and I'm only defending it with one. So I was thinking of doing this anyway to defend both those. I might still do that because that gets my bishop out. So if I retreat there, he could take it. Yeah, I'm gonna, again. I'm not going to think too much I'm gonna pop that there i think that means you've got two people yeah there. that's a good move so you've, you've you've defended up all that area that i'm trying to push in on haven't you and you stopped my knight really from moving anywhere by doing that so i like it and that's doubly defended too which is pretty good mm. nice play Okay, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do the old trick that you did and get my king safe for a bit. Mm. Yeah. Because um, I'm realising now that not having a bishop has put me at a bit of a disadvantage in some regards. Although, change my mind. <laughs> I'm going to do this, my last second shift up. I'm going to move this here. Okay. <clears throat> right, again, I'm not going to think too quickly. I'm a couple of points up, so if I swap pieces with you that two points becomes yeah important you're definitely playing at a, a, an advantage here so i'm going to move obviously it would be foolish of me not to take out your bishop i think Yeah, that's the best move. Having two pawns like that behind each other, sometimes that's not the best, is it? Yeah, it's not ideal for me, really. You've, you've definitely put the pressure on me. And I'm now completely without bishops. Mm. So you're only one bishop down, but I'm two, aren't I? Yeah. Which definitely yeah. now I'm starting to feel like I'm at a disadvantage. And perhaps my risk earlier on wasn't the best. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I've only, I've only got one bishop left, so you're just one bishop now. Now then, do I start trying to move your... 
queen about a bit. Um, if I put in that there, I think I need to get this in play and I need to get this in play basically. Or do I go here and try and attack your... I think put the attack on me, sir, because if I'm looking at this board at the moment, my general assessment is that you have set yourself up in a better way. You've got more pieces that are defended. You've got more, you've got a safer king and you're uh, in more of a position to be able to attack, really. OK, I'm just trying to work out what to attack. Um, and where's a good place to be? OK, I think I, I'm going to keep playing safe for now because I know I want those two points up. So I'm going to attack your queen. Oh, good move. OK, so that's really putting the pressure on me to kind of get my queen into a different position now. And I'm rather limited, actually, in the places that she can go to. Because I was thinking of moving forward, but obviously that knight is uh, protecting her further forward. And uh, obviously it should be a priority for me now to protect my queen as well, shouldn't it, really? Yeah. So I don't know, I don't think the children can see me making my moves, but if I was to attack the bishop, then obviously I'd be taken by the queen or even just by a pawn. I can't move it one space to the left because it'd be taken by the pawn. Um, I could go one space to the right. Um, it's a potential. Or I could go one space down. So I was really thinking about what do I want to, uh, where do I want to move her to keep her safe at this point? Um, and I think it is going to be one to the right that I, I take her on. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Now, can I can I pause? I'm sorry, sir, just to interrupt. Yeah. Now, comparing what we've got here, playing the game wellish, to yeah. what we had last time, where we just weren't really thinking about it and just going right. in and attacking, we yeah. can see on the board, can't we, that we've got a lot more of our pieces in play in the yeah. middle. You yeah. especially are trying to do something clever with those pawns, getting them out into defensive positions. Yeah. The king seems to be defended, especially on yours. Yeah. So it's very, it's got a very different feel to it. Yeah, yeah, well said. Yeah. Now then, I still need to get my because you make yeah, that's a really good point. These these pieces here at the moment aren't doing anything much because they're still where they started. Yeah, I've Whereas got a lot of pawns. So I'm just wondering if I move this here. I get to attack your queen now. Um, however, you could then bring your, mm, you're threatening bringing your queen here, which is quite a threat, actually. I hadn't thought of that. Um, but most things are defended. Ooh, don't think too long. Don't think too long. Um, Might go on the attack a bit. Uh, the pressure on. I would like to get this out, but oh, we could still go there, couldn't you? Right. I'm not going to think anymore. I'm going to move. All right then. Hmm. I'm trying to stop your queen coming here because then you're attacking that. I quite like playing chess when you get time to think about it, although obviously competitive chess, um, there would be a time limit, wouldn't there? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice to have a bit of time to um, yeah. think moves through. Yeah, I don't want to be too long because of the children waiting and <laughs> saying, <laughs> why, why hey, you... so they can they can always skip forward if they're going. Now <laughs> I've um, I noticed that you're putting the, you're, you're applying the pressure here, and my queen is now in a bit of a testy spot really because obviously she could be attacked next turn by the knight. If she moves up, she could be attacked by the pawn. To the left, she can get attacked by the bishop. I mean, she's really in a bit of a situation here. 
Um, so the question is, what on earth am I going to do about that? Now, I could take this as an opportunity to retreat further. Um, or I could push ahead and I think that's what I will do, sir. I'm going to push deeper in, which I know is what you assumed I would do. Well, I, yeah, I'm a bit concerned. I don't know how dangerous you could be down there. I'm not really sure either, to be mm. honest. But it's... Um, it's happened. Okay. Let go. This is a thing, isn't it, as well in chess, sir, that once you let go of your piece, yeah. that is it. Your yeah. move's over. Yeah. So you can you can move it and look and see where it is on the board as long as you're holding the piece. But the second your hands have gone off it, it's done. Yeah. Right then. So you are threatening the knight now. All the other things you're threatening are safe, I think. That rook's covered by that rook. That pawn's covered by that queen. That pawn's covered by that rook. Yeah. Well, In the last game, if we were not playing this well, I think I would have just gone next turn and taken out your rook. I would have thought, yeah, let's take it. Hmm. But that wouldn't have been clever, would it? Not in that situation. No, I've got to defend this rook somehow. Could either defend it with... Uh, if I bring the bishop there, that's not good, because then you can take my pawn, which is at the moment. I could put that there. Or I could actually move this to attack your queen again. Uh, keep her on the move. But then I can't really get anywhere from there because of your pawn. Right, again, I'm not going to think too hard about this. I'm going to do it with the queen. I'm defending it with the queen. Ah, now that's good, isn't it? So even though my queen is sort of up front and in your territory, she's really limited in what she can do over there, isn't she? I think my defence is holding up, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Not a lot she can do. So, um, I need to go and do something a little bit different, I would say. Hmm. What do I want to do? Gosh, you've really set up a very good defensive position. A lot of places where I would want to move to, I've realised that you've you've got them pretty much defended. So I'm going to do the old... Um, I'm going to kind of waste a move here, I think, and I'm going to defend my king. Um... Am I though? Or am I going to move this, this, this a little bit? I'm going to do something unusual, so I'm going to move this. Whoa. Yeah. Now I need to think why did you do that? But I'm not going to think too long. Um, yeah, you, there might not have been a lot of thought behind my manoeuvre, so. <laughs> Right, I'm not going to think too long. Now, your queen is in my kind of territory, so I'm wondering if I can I really around. put pressure on now. Off the top of my head, I'm just wondering if I put that there, whether you could even be trapped. Oh, gosh. Is there a situation where I could be trapped, sir? I'm gonna let I'm I'm gonna let go of it and hope. Wow. Yeah. That was a good move, sir. I think. Yeah. In a way, you've just had your two pieces, haven't you? And I've. You're you you're in enemy territory, really, here, aren't you? Because all my pieces are. Yeah. It would have been, there might have been a time when actually moving her back and retreating would have been the wise thing to do. But yeah, she's, she's trapped now. Nowhere she can go that's going to save her life. 
Don't think so. So she needs to do her best to cause as much damage as possible before she leaves. It yeah. would be silly for me to just take a knight or a pawn, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, well. So I'm going to say goodbye to my, my lovely queen, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Queen. <laughs> oh, I'll get the hankies out. Yeah. Right. I could take it with a knight, but that's a bit defensive. I'm better to take it with this because then. Yeah, it's going to get it out into play now because now it's got room to actually get in the game, hasn't it? Yeah. So I lost five there, but you lost nine. Yeah. So I am off on pieces now. Yeah, I think at this point, you've definitely got the upper hand, definitely got the advantage. I think we said that a little bit earlier, but I've not done the moves to get myself out of that good start that you had. So I'm going to start playing my um, unusual moves, if that's all right. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm going to just want to bring that further up in. All right. So I think one thing I've done is my king is very exposed isn't he yeah you've left it in the middle haven't you so if, if, if the children do look at your king there's not really a way of getting at him he's got the fence in front of him he's been blocked off by rooks he's got the queen near him he's, he's very safe isn't he yeah right so you've come there i could take that pawn but then you could take it with your knight if you take my pawn, I can take it anyway. So I think I'm going to ignore that, what you've just done. And I think I'm going to get my bishop into play even more by attacking your knight. I think that's safe enough. Yeah, that's a good move, sir. Good, good, good move. Um, what can I do here that would be uh, unusual? <laughs> we could pop this one. Out a bit, or shall I move and yeah, I'll I'll be a little safe and do that. Okay, right now I'm just working on the theory that I'm a few point, points up. Yeah, so you yeah you've got a lot more wiggle room. So the less the less pieces left, the more that if I'm if I'm two points up, it doesn't mean much at the beginning, but at the end it's massive. So. Where I can swap pieces, I'm just going to do that. So your knight's worth about three. My bishop's worth about three. Yeah. So I'm quite happy for them to go. All right. So I'll I will because even if I was being foolish here, I mean it would. I'm going to have to take that bishop out with my pawn, aren't I? Or else he's he's just going to carry on uh, pushing on. So yeah. Yeah. Now then. <clears throat> right. I'm going to get this knight into play a bit more. Wow, that's so we, we're really getting uh, the pressure on. And I've also noticed at this point that my knight is now being uh, threatened as well, isn't it? Oh, well, that was an accident. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah. Ah. Wow! So you're was, telling me that was a that was an that was an accident. Well, yeah, that was an accident. Well, it's worked out well. I don't know if the children can see, but the queen is now threatening my knight as well. Puts that in a bit of a situation. That knight. I guess what we we were talking about evading, and then we we did talk about defensive moves, didn't we? So even though it might not be the best move, I think I'll show the children what a defensive move in that situation would be, which would probably be just to move my pawn here, and I'm just going to let go of it straight away, really. Yeah, so you've defended that, which is fine. But one of the reasons I moved the knight was to attack this pawn. 
So that might have been definitely your best move. So, but I'm going to take that. Pawn. Oh, because yeah, because then you go and check as well. Yeah. So I'm going to take that pawn. That's check. Uh, which puts me in a limited options, doesn't it? And I think what I'll do now. Earlier on in the game, uh, castling was a good idea, wasn't it? Yeah. Whereas, if I move my my king now into the corner, in a way, I limit his freedom a little bit, don't I? Yeah, you're not allowed to castle if you're in check. Right. Oh, yeah, I, not as a move, but I meant generally, had I done that, oh, I getting him in the corner there would have sort of limited his... Uh, yeah. 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 Options. yeah, got you. So there's only one... Or, well, there's a couple of things I can do, but they, they all involve my king, don't they? So he's either going to go... Oh, you, the children can't see what I've got on my screen. Here, here or here. So I'm going to move him. I'm going to put you on night there. I'm going to pop him here. Okay. Right. Again, I'm not going to think too much. Um... Oh, I can see a good move. Good, do it, sir. Sure. Okay, well, look. This is called a fork, I think. Oh. Okay, and that's, nice. where, yeah, that's where a piece is attacking two pieces at once. Yeah. And the rook's valuable, but you can't defend the rook because you're yeah. in you've got to get out of check. So it's a lose lose situation for me here, isn't it? I, 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 the, the the knight the, the the rook is gone, hasn't it? Yeah. No two ways about it. And that's also going to lead to us. Oh well, hold on. Let me just move it. So pop that there. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there's anything else. Yeah, I'll just take that. Yeah. Now, at this point, I've got one knight and one rook, haven't I? Whereas you've still got your queen, which is absolutely yeah. the vital piece, really. Yeah. Right, I've got a plan now. I'm going to take this. And although, oh no, I'm wrong. Yeah, forget what I was going to say, but I've done it now. <laughs> okay. I guess, although, I can see what's going to happen is that you're going to start to move your rook down and put ultimate pressure onto my king. But I am going to still do a bit of take for take, I suppose. Even though you're going to move your queen anyway. So, up it goes. Okay. Check. Yeah. Let's check like that. I was thinking yeah. I, I was thinking I'd got your knight, but actually you can save your knight and get out of check. Well yeah. You yeah, can move the knight to defend the king, couldn't I? But I don't know if long term that'll help much, I don't know. I think the I think I'm just gonna do quick moves now because you're right. We, this is we're at the point of the game where it's kind of inevitable what's gonna happen. But I'm gonna I'm gonna Stick it out, sir. I could resign, couldn't I, by knocking my king over? Yeah, yeah. You never I know. I want to see what damage I can do to you before I go. Yeah, you never know. Um, <clears throat> this is called a pin, by the way, isn't it? That that knight is pinned now. It can't move. Because if it moves, yeah. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. I think by. Does this help? I'm not sure. 
gonna try it. If I move out there. Oh my gosh. That's worrying. That is very worrying. Yeah. So I see what's going on here. You're really threatening that. If I so initially, sir, what I was planning on doing, I'll tell you what, in sneakily, had you not done that, I was going to try and move my pawn up but that's at A7 to A5 to try and threaten your queen a little bit. But it's really pointless now, isn't it? Because if your queen moves down next turn, your queen could take the knight, and I wouldn't be able to take the knight back, would I? No, because of the rook being there. Yeah, the rook is uh, defending that. So I'm going to have to do something different, I would imagine. Um, she's probably just slowing down my inevitable downfall. No, that's a good move. That's a good move. Um, not sure. Not sure. It's probably a really good move here, but I don't know what it is. I think I'm going to try and get this. I feel that at any point you could be maybe one or two turns away from destroying me if we were smart enough to see it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to get this into play a bit. Yeah, more than I think. a very good decision, sir. Threatening to go there. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm not sure you can move much now. You can't move the knight. No, I can't move the knight, no. Can't move that much because it's defending the knight. Can't move that much because it's defending the knight. Yeah. Okay. That would have been... Yeah, it only slows your knight down one turn, doesn't it? Um, let me just think. <laughs> I'll put you in check. You've got to do something, but you could go there. Hmm, good move. Um, if I go there, your knight then could move. But if your knight moves, I could, yeah. No, your knight might, can't. Hmm, I don't know. I'm just going to take this pawn and not think too much about it. Yeah, still can't really move my knight, can I? <laughs> um, no, because you'd lose that, wouldn't you? Yeah. I haven't thought about that, yeah. So it's um, interesting. Dun, dun. Gosh, your queen is really pushing on me hard here. Mm. Would it be wise, sir, for your queen to take my rook in this situation? No, because you'd just take it with your king, wouldn't you? Yeah. I, do you know what? I, I can just imagine getting excited and thinking, oh, I've got that. And <laughs> um... As you say, that's probably a brilliant move here. I'm just going to do something to be quick. Uh, I'm going to keep with what I was going to do at one point. So that's check. Uh, so that's me on the defensive, doesn't it? 
Yeah, you do have to move your king, don't you? Okay. Um, oh, oh, oh. Check. Can't be long now, can it, sir? No, I think you've only got. Uh, two moves I can make. Yeah. So um, I'll just. Um, and in fact, whatever happens here, pretty much I've lost my. There we go. So. Should you check, mate, in a second? Yeah, I think. In fact, bold. could you do one move? Could I? I think if your queen takes the castle, the I, rook. I thought that, but then can you just squeeze into there for a bit? I could go just okay. A couple of moves. It can't be long now. <clears throat> um. I don't know if that's the best one, not probably not the best one, but there you go. Check. Yeah, you just got one move, haven't you? You just one got that. Move. Right. Yeah. Now then. If... Ooh, I can't see. <laughs> um I'll go my queen. There must be a really good one here. I'm sure the children will be able to tell us. I know we're probably, yeah, it's something really <laughs> obvious that we're missing. Yeah, check. Yeah, you get that feeling. Check still, yeah. Just slowly whittling down my pieces. Mine aren't quite all fitting together to make the killer blow. <laughs> no, I can't think of anything. I think, uh, check. Hey. Check, good. Any honourable chess player would have uh, resigned at this point, wouldn't they? Wait, yeah, it's interesting because it's challenging me to find a way to actually... You never know, I suppose you can... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's something unbelievable might happen. Crazy mistake. I'm thinking if I put that one there... That's kind of forcing you over to this area here. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And I'm thinking I can probably get this queen in there. Yeah, I think it could be it. If I put that queen in there, protected by the queen. Hey. I heard that sound. Fantastic. Yeah. Let's just close it down. So it was clear at that point. Nothing my king could do. He was defended. He would have been taken by pawns or by queens. Or the queen was defended, wasn't she? If he'd gone to the side, he'd been taken by the rook. If he'd gone back down, he'd been taken by the knights. So, absolutely. I think if we're honest, about 20 turns ago, it, I was onto a losing streak, wasn't I? Once you start to get some p some points down, it can be the beginning of the end, can't it? Yeah. Unless you're in a, 
unless it's like a, a calculated, I'm going to give away those two points because I get such an advantage in the position. It can pay off. Mm. It can pay off, can't it? Mm. Well, I really enjoyed that set. So that was a bit more of how to play it more. And, and, and we didn't have sort of situations where one piece just went on its own off into the wilderness, did it? Always we were thinking about when we send one piece somewhere, who's defending it, what's going to happen to it? Yeah. Yeah. You did one or two crazy moves kind of on purpose to move things on. But generally, we we were looking for our best moves there, weren't we? We were. I'm not. No, no, no. I did. I did try. So you, you got the better of me. But um, took a risk and a risk did not pay off. Mm. But I love it. This is what's so fun about the game. I'm, I'll be excited to play it again. Maybe we could play it again sometime. That'd be great. And then every game's different, isn't it? That's what's. So, There's something ridiculous about the number of um, ways a game can go, isn't yeah. it? I don't know what the statistic is, but it's just a huge number. Yeah, mm. love it. Right. Well, unless you've got anything else to add. No, that's great, Mr. Jordan. Well done to the children if they're stuck with us through that. that <laughs> yeah, that would, yeah, I look forward to looking at the YouTube statistics on the video and seeing how many stay to the end. <laughs> and did it? Did each move with us and then? said oh mr moore you missed why did you miss that one 20 moves ago yeah good I, I, I do feel my demise could have been quicker but yeah we could yeah, have, sure. we'll have a look <laughs> right great i can't see you so no, well i was saluting you in a kind of you know military style so right see you mr moore have a lovely right. have a lovely weekend or Thank whatever you. it might be day <laughs> evening <laughs> bye Thanks. bye We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.